All right, today I'm going to show you three simple ways to record within MainStage 3. Now, this is going to be a very, very simple tutorial, so I'm just using uh, like a one small patch as a, with a Steinway, or Steinway Grand Piano. And um, so I'm going to be using this as our major uh, sound input. And again, showing you very, very simple ways where you can begin recording. Now, the first thing you need to do is to make sure your audio output is being saved in the correct format. Now, to do that, we're going to come up here to the main stage three and go into preferences and click on audio. Now, once your audio window comes up, you can see you have multiple options in the output recording features. So uh, basically, you can kind of choose an AIIF file, a CAF file, or a WAV file. WAV file gives you a fairly large amount of space to record. Remember, that these are limited, uh, the amounts you can record. So you can't record for you know, a half hour and expect that your, uh, your computer will record all of it. But WAV will allow you to record the, uh, the largest files. And then make sure you remember where on your computer that the file is being saved. In this case, it's in my music folder and main stage folder. So once you have that set, we're going to click out of this and basically come back here to your main session. Make sure you're in the edit window. And this, this first way of recording will be for if you're in a practice environment where you're just simply laying down uh, some piano and really like the way it sounds, maybe you want to share that or simply record it as a session. What you can do is come up here and on this edit window up here in the top right, go ahead and click that record button and you can see it's enabled. It's actually recording at this point. I'm going to go ahead and play a few notes on my MIDI keyboard. That'll give us something to record. Come up here and hit that again when you're done with your recording. And basically, it automatically will save to that folder that we, uh, we looked at in the preferences window. I'm going to go ahead and pull that up so you can actually see where it's located. Again, music, main stage. And what we've created here is this is the latest one, this little audio file. Now, I'm going to play that just so you can see that's exactly where it recorded. There you go. So once uh, now you know that that's exactly where it's being stored, you can use this in a practice session or in your edit window as much as you like. Okay, so the second and third way of recording are going to be a little bit more applicable to those of you who are playing in a live environment. Now, uh, in a live environment, you're usually losing the performance window. That's this little guy up here. And if you click on that, as you can see, there's no real functionality to click and record. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to add a button that enables recording. So I'm going to get off of the performance window here. We're going to go back to layout. And what I'm going to do is come down here and I'm just going to grab one of these buttons. I'm going to drag it up over here. Again, there's many ways of doing this depending on your preference. But I'm going to do just something very, very simple just so you can, uh, you can see the functionality. So once you have your, your button enabled, what we're going to do is uh, basically the easiest way is to simply set this up as a click button, record, and then click it again to have it come off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the edit window again now that we have the button up. And what I'm going to do is come down here. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to click on the assign and map button up here. And then we're going to come down to the action or actions function. We're going to scroll down and we're going to click on record. All right, so that's, you see a little nice little red glow that's kind of come around the button indicating that you can use that to record. Okay, so now that we've mapped that out, we can actually go over to the performance window and you can see it comes up. And uh, what I'm gonna do now is just pretend like we're in a performance live environment. I'm gonna go ahead and click this and you can see it actually comes up with the recording feature. Let me hit a few keys again. All right, and when we're done recording, we'll go ahead and click on that button again, and it turns off. Now, again, just to sure, make sure that we actually captured that moment, let's bring up our inspector window again. You can see a new file was added here. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And there you go. So, now that we know that that works, there's one extra way that if you are using a MIDI keyboard is going to make your life really, really nice. 
So let's come over here and let's make sure this record button is assigned to our MIDI keyboard. That way we can enable recording directly off of our controller. So I'm gonna come back off of this window. I'm gonna go back over here to uh, layout and I'm gonna click on this and we're gonna assign the button. So I'm gonna click on that. Now that it's, it's red, I'm gonna come over to my MIDI keyboard and I'm gonna hit the record button so it assigns to that specific button on my MIDI controller. All right, and now that it's done that, I can actually click off Assign. So when we come back to the performance environment, now instead of having to use my trackpad on my, my Mac to actually click that button to record enable it, I can actually record enable it directly from a MIDI controller just by doing this. As you can see, it record enabled it, and we can go ahead and hit a few buttons. All right, I'm gonna hit that same button again, and the recording is unenabled. Now I'm gonna actually, let's drop this window, let's bring up our file again and make sure, yep, and there it is, a brand new file. So there you go, that is three quick ways to record in main stage. Again, this functionality is so manipulable, so if this is a specific way that you definitely don't like. Maybe there's some other interesting ways that you've enabled this record feature. Love to hear about them. Put them in the comments section below and maybe I can do some additional tutorials on, on some tweaks and some hacks to make your life a little bit easier with this functionality. But there you go. Hope that helps. Go out there and make some incredible music and uh, stay tuned. We'll have more main stage, more Mac and, uh, and other tech tutorials coming soon.